Gary, after a mightily improved second half performance, you must feel gutted not to have at least taken something from that one. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, I just said to the lads in there, we're finding a way of losing matches. Um, I thought we scored a good goal. I thought we had uh, chances to, you know, get a second and kill the game off. Uh, and then the lack of attention to detail on the short corner. You know, we don't get out there quick enough and um, we get undone by that. Uh, and then the ball goes under the wall from a free kick. And I think, in all fairness, if you ask the lad, I think he scoffed the shot. Uh, we jump up and in the wall and in it goes. And I'd say so you're finding a way to lose games, which um, that, that's, that's where we are at the moment, I'm afraid. It, it's disappointing, but I thought tonight you couldn't fault the lads' uh, effort, endeavour. Um, you know, following on from a decent performance Saturday, I, I thought we, you know, we had um, a performance tonight that we probably should have got something out of the game without a shadow of a doubt. The gaffer said in the build-up he wanted to see us create more chances, yeah. and, and didn't we just in the second half? You felt that maybe the big moment if we'd got that second goal, it would have killed the game off. I think, I think uh, obviously Mickey's chance, um, you know, but one or two of the lads, due to injury stuff like that, they're running on empty, lack of games. The chance when uh, Courtney's through three or four games down the line, they're getting nowhere near him and, he, and he's, he's scoring, you know, but that's that's the hand we're dealt with at the minute. So, as I say, we're, you know, we're finding ways of losing games, which uh, it's disappointing because the lads are, you know, to be fair to them, they're, they're doing uh, what they can to try and turn it around at the minute. Can we take heart, I guess, from, from the last two performances? Obviously, it's disappointing, again, not to pick up any points, but we are certainly improving. Yeah, we are. Um, there's de definitely, we're improving. We need to improve a lot more. We need to, you know, without stating the obvious, we, we need to get a win, um, you know, to give the lads some confidence. Um, d definitely, but there's an improvement there. But, you know, you got it because at the end of the day, you can see the gaffer's a, a born winner. I'm the same. I, you know, I hate losing. I, I, I've been with sides who are used to winning, so. It's a big disappointment. We don't do it for fun. We do it because we want to win and uh, we want to give the supporters something to obviously, you know, cheer them up and, uh, and cling on to. The league is obviously in, in doubt at the moment. Yeah. There's a lot of speculation. Oh, yeah. Have yeah. we almost got to try and park it to one side for the next four weeks? I think it's. I think that's difficult. I think with what's going on with the league at the minute, um, you know, everybody's got the views. Um, but for me, it all seems to be surrounding funding. Uh, when basically you've got lads, you know, 30 lads and staff jumping onto a coach, you know, they're not in a bubble, um, you get people ill, um, you know, I think if I'm honest it wouldn't be unkind to say it's a little bit of a shambles at the moment and, you know, they're asking for a vote now, well, the top eight are going to vote to carry on, the bottom eight are going to say we don't want to carry on and then six in the middle will probably toss a coin, so you could do with a little bit more guidance and, and leadership and, you know, get it sorted out but to me the people who have been neglected a little bit are the players you know their health and well-being um, they're going home to loved ones you know it's it's a bit of a bizarre situation if I'm honest when you look at it you mentioned earlier the lack of games yeah. we've had yeah. and that's causing us to run empty is that one of the reasons maybe Mikey had to come off it they've just not been yeah, consistent course. minutes you know Mick, Mickey's been out for a while he, you know he's got hamstring problems you know it's a heavy pitch here again tonight we can't afford to have lads injured you know and out for another month uh, because we've left him on too long we'd love to leave him on words is the same you know we pushed him a bit more tonight because we've got no game on Saturday but uh, as I say, unfortunately, that, that's that's the hand we've been dealt. You know, lads coming back, lads shorter games, but you know we've got to keep trying to improve, and we've certainly seen that in the last two games. But until we get results, you know, you look at the table and see other results. There's no point. There's no point until we start winning. You know, there's no point doing that, and we've got to do that, obviously. But listen, I'm not phased by the situation we're in. We we inherited a worse situation than this at Solio, where you know I think it was 13 points adrift with. Third of the uh, th third of the season to go, so no nobody's saying oh it's you know a disaster or what have you. But listen, we need to give these lads and the supporters something to cling on to, and you know we had an opportunity to do that tonight. And as I say, we found a way of losing. It's a cliche, and it feels like it, it sounds a bit broken record. But <laughs> with these lads, do you think it, it just is going to take to grind out that one result, and it should 
build a bit of confidence and a bit of momentum perhaps yeah you need you need to change things and, and you know uh, we brought two lads in uh, centre halves who I think are starting to punch the weight a little bit now and, and they've certainly stiffened us up I thought we defended our box well tonight and got our heads on things and you know even in their box going forward we look at we look a threat but you know I think we need some more help in terms of you know again it's a confusing situation with you know do you want to bring players in is the, is the league going to finish um, we certainly need a little bit more ammunition to, to beef us up and uh, try and move us forward just lastly how is the gaffer and it's an uncovid related illness but he sounded mighty poorly when I spoke to him yeah he, he looks ill he looks very ill to me and um, you know as, I, as I've sort of spoke about with the situation at the minute with, with the covid and the uncertainty in terms of, of people's health and that you know you, you can't be too careful and he, he, he don't look good when I've seen him and um, you know, you say it's not COVID related, but I think he probably needs to go and have a, a COVID test and uh, see where he is because uh, he don't look too good at all.